Roberto Mawaragato, Mr. Roberto. <clears throat> Radio. Domo Aragato, Mr. Roberto. Let's see how much fun you can have. No, have you noticed how much fun I'm having? Domo Aragato, Mr. Roberto. See, I've got two Roberts, right? I've got Roberto. And I got Bob. <clears throat> Domo Aragato, Mr. Roberto. See, Roberto gets that there's a difference between being a doer and being a hearer. Right? <laughs> See, I'm a lifelong learner. I'm curious, how do you define, what, what is learning to you? <clears throat> because to me, learning is behavior change. <laughs> you might want to write that down. Because you can learn or you can learn about. So you can learn how to cook, you can learn about cooking. Yep, you can cook, you can bake, you can fry, you can toast, you can grill. But if you don't do it, right, it don't matter, does it? See, Domo Arigato, Mr. Roberto, sends me an email. <laughs> and he's thankful. Domo Arigato. He's, he is thankful. He's on fire because his email goes something like this. This is not a quote, by the way. Right? I don't have my other screen in front of me. I'm in the portable, disposable hot tub. And uh, Roberto sends me uh, an email. Basically says, uh, first three weeks. Right? First three weeks. I'm a doer now. Before I was a hearer. <laughs> Neville says to be a doer, not a hearer. And people, yep, I read that 72 times in 13 different lectures. I found it on the Reddits. I remember that other guy uh, on the, your group said about it three years ago. Neville said to be a doer, not a hearer. Hmm. See, that's Bob. Bob. Bob just bobs up and down. I, by the way, I can't make this shit up. You know, I get these emails. I love you guys. You know it. And you know why I have fun when I reply, because I want you to have fun before you send. Dear Mr. 20, I've been struggling with writing you this email for three months now. That's 90 days. Three months is 90 days. Manifestingmasterycourse.com That's probably going to be my answer. And it's not because I want to sell more product. I do. I enjoy when people buy it. I get to buy whiskey, liver treats, and flowers for Victoria. I got her some lovely flowers yesterday. But meanwhile... Domo Aragato, Mr. Roberto. Roberto's going to go far. He's a doer. He gets because when we started codifying this stuff a long time ago, I started codifying what I call master states. One of them is active imaginer. The other one is passive imaginer. Passive imaginer is when 3D reality is knocking me off my square again, Mr. 20. I imagine for 10 minutes I feel good and I get up and feel like shit. Right. You're letting the dog lead. You're letting the dog run wild. You're letting the dog leave the property. You're letting the dog get picked up by the pound and sit in a cage. No wonder you feel like shit. All right? Hashtag that. <laughs> See, Bob, Bob's up and down. Yep, I'm just floating along. On the other hand, Roberto. Roberto's got shit going on. He's doing... Because he realized there's a state called a hearer. Ready? I, you know, I get these emails. Mr. 20, I want to hear more. <laughs> All right. By the way, I talk more. I'll keep talking. I'll keep sharing. Right? We're going to hit 2,000 episodes soon if we haven't already. How cool is that? We've got 2.3 million listens. That's pretty cool. Some of the hearers are doers. Years ago, I put together a little project, and I dove into Parkinson's Law. And Parkinson's Law basically says 80% versus 20%. 80% are just going to listen. 80% are just going to ask questions. 80% are going to go, hmm, look around. Then there's 20% who are going to do something. The 20% are going to give you 80% of your money. The 80% are going to give you 20% of your money. Right? Then there's that 20% that's going to give you 80% of your problems. That's all right. 
But I got to tell you, I've been just watching this over the years. And I don't know if the numbers are true or not, but I can tell you. Right? Most people are not doers. Right? They'll passively imagine. They'll inadvertently imagine. You're having wins all day. That doesn't matter, though. What matters is, are you driving the bus? Or are you just letting it go where it wants to? Or are you imagining without realizing that you're steering? Or are you blaming the turn signal? Some people do that. They blame what they say. And I keep singing every day with emotion. I am a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. And I keep looking and there's no horn coming out and I'm not eating people. I'm not even purple. On the other hand, I feel from the state of loving teacher to the point where, hey, I'm on a Facebook group yesterday and somebody's posting about using affirmations to get their SP and after five months the SP came back but suddenly they left. Oh my God. And I, and I say, I, I toss a couple thoughts up and it's like, are you telling me, Mr. 20, that my special person has the ability to resist my affirmations? Because in my reality, I'm the only one that has free will, right? And I wrote back, I said, hey, listen, apparently I'm in your reality and I am not obeying your free will, <laughs> am I? See, I have free will to live from the state of loving teacher. That doesn't have me affirming things about you. Living from the state of loving teacher has me share gold. So you can hear it. Yep. The state of hearer might have you just hearing it. Bob, 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 bob. Right, the state of Domo Arigato, Mr. Roberto, might have you run with it. And you know I'm going to give a crass commercial about Dream Driven Day, because the doors open. I'm sorry, the doors are open. The doors close on Friday. We begin on Friday. <laughs> ah, imagine my excitement. Because one of the things that we say to everyone in there, every day before you do your lesson, okay, do my guaranteed win method. Imagine already experience, already having had gotten gold from today's lesson, gold that you've run with and scored. In other words, imagine yourself being a doer every day before you hear the lesson. Ooh -ha. Anyway. So back when I was a teenage black belt, a fellow like Bob comes up to me and goes, yeah, see, I was working out in the gym at the YMCA in Scottsdale. The place was old and it was a piece of shit, but it was home and I loved it. It had a smell, it had a feel that isn't like the modern gyms. This was classic. And the old Scottsdale YMCA, I'm working out in the gym and I can tell there's this guy watching me. He comes over, he goes, I'd like to help you with that. And I said, with what? And he goes, with your kicking. I said, all right. And he goes, well, the way that you're chambering your leg is all wrong. What you should be doing, and he goes through this thing. I said, well, show me. He goes, well, I, I can't show you. And I said, well, is it top secret? Right? You're wearing loose pants, for God's sake. He goes, no, 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 no. I, I study martial arts. I don't do them. And I said, right, well, let me ask you a question. Right? So you're telling me, right, I'm a teenage black belt, by the way, right? 18 years old. Been doing this stuff for like six years now. And uh, maybe even had my second degree black belt by then. And I said, so you're telling me the way I'm throwing that kick, there's no way I could land it. And I said, yeah. Or he said, yeah. I said, radio. Want to play? I won't hurt you, I promise. I'm really freaking good. So he goes, yeah, why not? Right? I've been studying about martial arts for a long time. <laughs> radio. So I proceeded to kick him 13 times in the face. I didn't make contact. I just touched him like a butterfly. Because I was fun in the ring, right? I was young, I was a demon, but I was fun. I didn't touch him, I didn't hurt him. But after like 13 times in the face, he goes, Rightio, you win. And I says, no, 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 no. He goes, no, listen to me, I'm telling you, you're right. And I said, listen to me. I'm telling you to start doing, pal. If you've got a passion for this, why are you just reading about it? <laughs> Meanwhile... There's the state of Bob. You see, here's what I didn't tell you about Bob. Bob said, 20, I bought the course. I listened to the lessons daily. <laughs> All right, that's it. You listen. What are you doing with it? 
do, do, do. <laughs> you can start back over on day one and do each lesson. Discover who you are. Or you can listen and learn. But you got to remember, my definition of learning is behavior change. Learning is behavior change. I don't learn about. <laughs> I learn. If you got gold today, join us in dreamdrivenday.com. Make it happen, for God's sake. Stretch. <laughs> By the way, don't strain. So many people strain with excuses. Jesse's done Dream Driven Day before. He's joining us in Dream Driven Day again with Coral and Company. We got. I love when people sign up again. Mark Dockery. <laughs> this just thrills me, by the way, guys. Because every Dream Driven Day is different. It's the same lessons. But the group is different. My play is different. The live calls. Right? <laughs> Everyone shows up differently. The veterans, the new kids, the way I explore the material. You see... We don't just explore material, we explore you. <laughs> and if a little bit of thrill you get from that, join us. That's DreamDrivenDay.com. That's it. I'm not doing any other crass commercials about anything else in probably any other episode this week. You can join ManifestingMasteryCourse.com if you want to. I suggest you do if you haven't. But this is Dream Driven Day Week, guys. We kick off on Friday. Notice if you feel pressure or if you feel someday... Over the rainbow, he'll come back. Or if you're going to go righty L, time to be a doer. See, we design everything that we do, these little programs like Manifesting Mystery Course, Dream Driven Day, so on and so forth. We design these to invite you to do what we do, not just read about what we write about, not just to listen to what we talk about. Have a lovely day. Domo Aragato be a Roberto. Domo Aragato be a Roberto. See ya.